Welcome to the Cal Corporation's series of videos about software engineering. The topic of this video is aliased strings in modern C++. Before proceeding, make sure that you have already watched these other videos first. The new string view class is like the standard string class, except that its copy construction does aliasing instead of copying character data. The underlying aliased data source can be a C string, a string object, or copying another string view alias. As shown here, you can safely use C language style character assignment to modify the underlying alias character data. However, any object-oriented type of modifications to an underlying string object will cause the string view to become invalid. It would then be a runtime error to continue using that string view. This concern also applies when the underlying string object goes out of scope. You can cast from string view to a standard string object, which then does copy character data. You can call this data function to access a string view's underlying data block. Your access to it would be in the form of a C array. Be careful that data block is only null terminated if the original data had been. 